Okay, so that first video was with the tran with the uh, transmitter and power energized to the pump. Now I'm going to try this tool with the circuit de-energized and see what happens. Okay, so I have the transmitter hooked up. As you can see, it's de-energized, but it is hooked up. And I have my ground hooked up. All right, so I'm going to turn this guy on. And let's see if we can, because now it's de-energized, I'm going to crank the signal right up. All right, let's go down a little bit. Let's see if we can find this in the ground. So I can see here where it runs along the wall. Okay, so the signal's very weak. So let's just increase that. There it is there, we're picking up. So same thing as before. We know the circuit ran under here. We have our signal at maximum level. Oh, we're starting to lose it again where we lost it before. Because at some point it runs out this way. And then again, we're gonna run into, the signal's gonna be very weak. Okay, so we have it running along my pool edge, I guess, underneath here. Oh, we lost it. All right. Might be too deep. Let's see if we can pick it up over here. Oh, it doesn't look like we're picking it up. And it's at the maximum signal level. Let's see if we can find it anywhere along the path that we were able to locate it before because it might be just way too deep. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. So as you can see, it works great when the circuit's energized to find where the wires are. And as you saw with the percentage numbers, that it was a, a very weak signal with an energized because of how deep it is. Oh, oh, look at this. We're picking up the circuit again. It's very weak though, but we're we're way underground and it's still making it. So I think the concrete and the dirt and the gravel that's there is making it very difficult to pick up the signal through it all. But let's just see. If I, there we go. So we know the wire is there. So it looks like it will pick it up on grass and dirt, but it looks like it's gonna have a hard time picking up through gravel and concrete as you get away from the transmitter. So keep in mind, the transmitter is only a double A battery, so it's not, it's not like it's super powerful or anything like that. But there we go. So we're picking up a signal weak, but we know the wire's there. So there you go. So it's, uh, looks like it's not too bad. Okay. So this, uh, this receiver and this transmitter for the ET450, uh, the Klein tool, I think for its price, uh, I believe it's around $260 Canadian. And uh, for what it can do, I think it's pretty amazing. Um, I, I will do a video later where I just try and find a circuit breaker inside inside electrical panel. Um, I did try it uh, when I first bought the unit and it, it nailed, dead nailed the circuit right away. I had no issues finding the breaker. Um, we also did test it out on trying to just find a, a wire in a commercial building um, and uh, use the transmitter where it was a dead circuit. We were trying to find which breaker it was without turning on a bunch of circuits. And uh, we ended up, it took it to a, right away, it took us right to the circuit breaker. We were able to figure it out and uh, verify that it was the right circuit and it did it and it took it, it took us literally 10 minutes. Um, if I run into that situation again, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely film it. But uh, uh, for the price this unit is, I think it's worth it. Um, the one feature I really like about it is uh, it will do up to 480 volts. Now in Canada, we work on 600 volts a lot. So, but the, the one phase on 600 is 347 volts. So if I'm trying to find a, uh, a 347 volt circuit, this will help me out. I do run into a lot of 347 volt circuits and I'm trying to find the breakers to shut them off. Um, I was on a job once and it took me roughly six hours to find the breaker because there was panels all over this building that were uh, 347 volt, 600 volt panels that were controlling lighting systems, door operators, machinery, everything in this building was 600 volts. And uh, there were breaker panels all over the place. And I ended up, nothing was labeled 
anything and it took me almost all day to find the, the breaker to shut off the power so I can just work on this one simple circuit which only would have taken me 15 minutes if I had if I had a way of tracing it so now that I have this thing I want to try that out as well and see how well it works on trying to find a uh, circuit on 347 volt so far on 12240 I've had no issues with, uh, with trying to find the um, the breakers in a, in a regular breaker panel whether it's in a house or a commercial facility um, the one that we were trying to find a dead circuit on was a three-phase um, 12208 volt system and it found it no problem so uh, obviously with the wire underneath concrete it's gonna have a hard time finding it it did pick up a weak signal which it showed it was like a small percentage on the uh, on the receiver um, as I went over dirt it picked it up a lot stronger than when I went over a patio which is the patio slabs and then I know there's six inch of gravel underneath that and then there's sand and dirt underneath that and then the wires another 18 inches below that so for the for the distance of the patio it wasn't able to pick it up until we got closer to the end of the paddle then it re-picked up the patio and then it re-picked up the circuit and uh, I was able to trace it again and find it where it leads to underground underneath the deck so in all I'm gonna give this thing a two thumbs up for its price its value I think it's uh, I think every electrician should have something like this in their truck. Um, if you're getting into heavier circuits and, and um, you know deep tracing or anything like that and you want to get into the heavier duty tracers, that's something that uh, a company you work for should be purchasing that tool and supplying it to you when, when the situation comes up where you need it. Um, I will definitely be trying this in parking lot lights on pavement. Um, once I get into that situation, I'm definitely going to film. Uh, trying to source out and trace out the circuits underneath pavement and see how that works. That's it. Thanks for watching Mike's Tool Fun.